Hi, this is the fellow passenger. In this video, we're going to look at making nice warm pads using Dext. Dext is a free VST based on the legendary Yamaha DX7 FM synthesizer. You can follow along in this tutorial whether you have Dext or not. It will apply to pretty much any FM synth that you might have lying around, hardware or software. The reason for making this video stems from someone asking me a question to do a tutorial on Brian Eno type pads. Sure, I don't think I'm the best person to replicate someone else's presets, but I can certainly show how you can use FM synthesis to make some nice warm pads. So that's what we're going to do. If you are completely new to FM synthesis, I recommend you checking out a three minute tutorial, just getting you started. Likewise, if you're completely new to Dext, I've made a 10 minute introduction also link in the description showing you pretty much all the functionality. So without further ado, we got a fresh instance of Dext here with its default patch. Not a very useful patch when it comes to making pads. So let's hit the init button that resets all the um, operators. It's only operator one that has got any volume on, all the other ones are turned down. As you can see here, the envelope, there's no, or here rather, there's no attack and there's no release. Generally with a pad, you've got a bit of slower attack and a little bit of longer release. The envelopes here in the um, old Yamaha FM synths can come across as a little bit back to front, but here is a very quick overview. The top row of knobs here, it is still an attack, decay, sustain, release, just, just to clarify that, the top row is the level, the amount of volume you want to have at each stage. So you want to end at zero volume, for example, but at this stage you'd have max volume throughout. The second row down here is what we would be more used to as the attack, decay, sustain, release times. However, it is a bit back to front. So rather than having the knob all the way to the right to have a long release, we have to turn that down. It's basically now it's set to max speed. It's as fast as the release can be. So we need to make it slower. So if we turn this down, you will see this curve change here. A bit more of a bell sound. And then we probably also need a little bit of a slower attack. So we do the same there. We turn it down to slow down. already have a bit of a pad sound there, but the DX7 or Dext is only using sine waves as its sound source or oscillator source in each of the operators, which creates one fundamental, so if I only press one key, it creates one fundamental frequency, as we can see here, depending on which key I'm pressing. I understand why the early FM synths only used some sine waves, because the whole idea is that you use different operators to modulate each other, and that quickly increases the number of um, harmonics. So we can just demo that. So if we, because we have here in the algorithm, you see we're playing operator one, which is at the bottom, that's the one we're hearing. But if I would turn up operator two, we would suddenly hear the frequency modulated version of one there. So if we also take a look at this uh, EQ here, we can see the, the new frequencies coming in. So clearly we are quickly getting quite a lot of harmonics. So therefore it makes sense to have a very basic waveform. However, I think there are some really interesting FM synths there that also use other waveforms. So you can go and explore that after this. <clears throat> so how can we make this pad uh, something more articulated or animated uh, with some more interesting harmonic content? So of course we can turn, let's just turn this up for now. Sounds a bit sort of more nasal and harsh now. I'll just turn it off. And as soon as I let go of the key, you can hear the frequency modulation just finishes. You hear the sine wave ringing out. So if we want the 
the frequency modulation to continue as long as the release is ringing out, we actually need to change the envelope for, for this modulating uh, operator as well. So let's just turn that down a bit. That doesn't sound very warm. Depending on what synthesis method you are used to, in this case, you may reach for the filter and want to turn it down. Dext actually has a filter. The DX7, the real deal, did not have that uh, or does not have that. And a lot of the other early FM synths did not have a filter. So we're going to go old school and not touch that. And we can soften this by just turning the level down on this. have quite a nice pad sound there and as you we did this where you see where you hear the frequency modulation actually tailing off we can do the same thing with having it starting off as pretty much a pure sine, pure sine wave and over time you start hearing the frequency modulation coming in I'm just going to turn up the level here just just for illustration purposes so we actually hear the the frequency modulation coming in over time That's the very basics of making a, a nice pad using FM. I'm going to turn that down a bit more. I can make it snappier, so it's, like, I suppose, less than a pad. Now we're going to look into some other interesting tricks that you can use to uh, play around with this. One is maybe amplitude modulation. Strange, when I hold down a key and change some of the parameters, you get it somehow to trigger sounds. I don't know why that is. And then you can, so we, here is the um, LFO section. So I've set off like how much the LFO is going to, to um, What am I saying? It should be. Ah, do we need to turn up mod sense here? this was just not loud enough. There we go. extreme effect. That's already sounding quite lush without the reverb. Let's just for fun, let's put some reverb on it. Nice. 
We haven't paid much attention to the algorithms yet. As this is set up by default, this is the basic algorithm. We're basically, in this case of this example, because we only got operator 1 and operator 2 turned up, we're hearing operator 1, we hear all the operators that are at the bottom line, and the ones above are modulators. So we are basically hearing number 1 affected by number 2. All the other ones are turned off. But we can create an interesting chain. Let's click in it again. Turn the reverb on. Let's see what algorithms we have. Right, let's take this one for example. Now we're hearing operator 1. Turn that off so we don't hear anything. But we can also listen to operator 3, which is down at the bottom there as well. So if we turn that up, hear the same thing. Let's create what we did before, just very quickly. We do a little bit of a... A nice pad, and then we can affect that by modulated by number four. Do the same here, we had a bit of... Now we can continue this chain. So we can have five affecting number four and number four then affecting number three. So we can get some strange, this is going to, strange noises. This is going to get harsher very quickly, I think. So let's do that. And then we can have this easing in maybe. And then we can dial these in just to soften it a little bit. Now this bit here is interesting. All of them by default is flicked to ratio rather than fixed. What that means is that we are basically going to hear different tones when we are pressing the keyboard. These operators are tracking with the keyboard. If we set it to fixed, it doesn't matter which key I'm pressing, that operator will just play whatever frequency we are set it to. So now, if I'm playing around the keyboard, this this uh, operator 5 here, which is uh, that in there. Let's, no, actually, let's do operator 4 is not going to track with the keyboard. You're going to get some interesting harmonic relationships that way. Just turning the volume up on that one and you're going here, it can get some quite harsh dissonances. turn that down so this one effect number five affecting number four is still tracking with the keyboard let's just make this and then even more so if we change it to a more unrelated frequency There you can dial in. There you can dial in more interesting, slightly dissonant pads. start playing with the LFO again.
interesting tones. Let's just quickly make another one. So we're back to the default algorithm. Uh, back in pad territory again. Let's introduce the second operator. But we change the tuning of this one. So the third one here, which is not being modulated by anything at the moment. Anyway, I think that's enough. You should be able to know how to make some nice warm FM pads now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.